Hey everyone, this is Space Marine Steve from Play on Tabletop and I want to play Kill Team. I found three amazing players to help me do it. A mountain of fantastic prizes, all from the Army Painter. We found a great story to tell. This is Kill Team Octary. James, Mr. Initiative Jones, so we meet again. Back for a little more kill team? You know what? I gotta watch out or he's gonna take vengeance upon me. He's mooning me right now, isn't he? It's time to play. In our fifth game of the Kill Team Octaria series, we see the undisputed, all-star, and lovable poster boy of Play on Tabletop, Space Marine Steve, commanding an updated squad of Death Watch intercessors. Come on down, big guy. I am Space Marine Steve, and this is Kill Team Octarius. Octarius is a super dangerous place. The orcs and the Tyranids are smashing into each other, and the Imperium wants to keep that action rolling. I am using all intercessor warriors, all with various types of bolt weapons. Oh, I love bolt weapons. So we are going to slay some Xenos scum and prog this conflict on a little longer. Steve is facing off against James Mr. Initiative Jones, a close friend and regular guest on the channel, piloting his orc commando kill team. Welcome back, James. It is always a great day when you're in the studio. My name is James Jones, Mr. Initiative, and I'm playing you guessed it, orcs. Playons brought us back. I'm here to stomp Steve once more. So I brought orc commandos, and I'm really excited about the throat slitter rule where I can be concealed and still charge into combat, really crump something good. Steve always rolls ones, will height, nothing to fear there. James, Mr. Initiative Jones, we meet yet again on the field of battle. He and I have played so much all star series, kill team, and uh, you know what? We always have really good games. So while it's going to be a tough opponent, I know for sure that it is going to be a good game. The mission that we are playing today is simple, yet unique, and it is going to pose a great challenge to us both. We are playing the narrative mission Ambush from the Octarius campaign book. The objective is straightforward. The defender, for this game, I'm gonna be the defender, needs to try and get as many of their operatives off the side of the board as possible, while the attacker needs to concentrate on blocking my escape route and knocking out as many of the operatives as possible. Each operative that escapes the board is worth two victory points to me, and each model that is killed by James is worth two points to him. It is a race through the kill zone, and I'm excited to see what happens. Have a good game, gentlemen. Before we get to the game, let's talk about the sponsor of this year's Kill Team series. As you may have guessed, the Army Painter has generously sponsored Playon's Kill Team and provided us with enough products to test out and showcase the versatility of their range. And now we have to play for it. The Army Painter has put their paints to the test and put their product on the line. If you want to check out what we're playing for and the products we use to paint the models in this video, head to the description below and check out their website and everything that they have to offer. Hey everybody, this is Space Rain Steve from Play on Tabletop and I'm so excited to invite you here into the studio for this episode five of Kill Team Octarius and I get to play my best buddy James. What's up, dude? How you doing, man? I'm excited. I'm really excited too. And today we are playing for, boom, the Army Painter brush set, the mega brush set, which I'm actually very excited about because there's four, seven, ten brushes in this bad boy. Brushes are pricey, so I'm gonna need these, dude. So. I really need those, dude. I've licked all the bristles out of my other brushes. You. I am playing the Intercessors uh, kill team, which because this one is filmed like behind all the other ones, because we did all the other ones due to scheduling all of them together, but this one's filmed much after, I can use the sixth one. So I have six intercessors instead of five, and I'm using the updated data slate too. I have brought back the bog standard orc kill team I've been playing the whole time. Hell yeah. Yep, gotta keep it simple for my yep. OP brain. 
So uh, please note that uh, we are playing uh, very open and narratively, and this is a much more akin to what is open play in the book. However, uh, because of all your fantastic suggestions uh, in the series that has already been released, uh, we are updating a couple of things, and we also are using these barricades. And these barricades here are a little bit bigger than the barricades that they recommend to use in the actual rules. However, because we are playing on Octarius, we have these awesome orc barricades, and we are going to use these uh, as the barricades for this mission today. Winner attack decides. defender, winner decides who's attacker defender. Nope, I. <laughs> oh my goodness. <coughs> That's gonna be a good game. Attacker defender, what do you want? I wanna be back here. I wanna kill you. All right, cool. So I gotta run for it. Uh, defender has to place uh, one of these little barricades. Yep. But I can't place it on terrain or anything like that. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put one right there. That'll slow you down. Yep, totally will. Little, yeah. ro little roadblock. Yep, this will slow you down. It'll slow me down a little bit. I gotta go up and over that. Yep. So we placed all of our barricades, which is great. We've got our deployment zones uh, marked out. So uh, normally what we would do is we would deploy alternating. However, the mission states uh, that we need to deploy the attacker's models, uh, all of them in concealment and without my knowledge of which one goes where. So we've indicated which of these are going to be which of those and Nick, both, both Nick and uh, James both know what those are. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, we're gonna see how uh, how this shakes down. I know that I'm getting a little nervous. They should with basically all these. just be lined up in a, in cover. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, so it's very clear here that uh, James has selected to hide his orcs behind these large um, factory buildings, and I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. Wait and see which one of them is where. I'm also very concerned to know, you know, where this knob of yours is. That's I think what I want to know is where did you put you the want, knob? You can't wait to see the knob. All right, so I'm gonna start and uh... oh, oh. No, you can go there. Uh, so uh, my leader uh, is going there. So all of my intercessors are all equipped identically. The leader went down along with uh, two intercessors. One of them is hiding just under here, um, just under this factory uh, piece. Put another one just over down here. I think it's best if I just get up and in there as fast as possible. Especially since the updated data slate uh, is giving me three AP instead of two, I want to make sure that I can use that to my advantage as best I can. So we are going to make sure that if I can, sh if there's an opportunity for me to shoot, whew, I'm gonna shoot. So Sniper boy and comms boy, they go together. Uh, we'll also put over DACA boy. And then we've got um, two regular boys there. We've got the boss knob. We've got rocket boy, burner boy, and two regular boys here as well. Uh, so with the uh, data slate update, uh, the great thing about uh, the Space Marines now is they're uh, just riddled with, with great new rules. And so uh, I have chosen a pair of rules to represent the chapter tactic that I'm going to be using. And uh, I've selected that I'm going to gain an additional uh, triangle of movement so my guys can be a little speedier. Uh, and then I have also have elected that I'm going to have one additional wound. So instead of the regular intercessor warrior having 15 wounds, now I have 16 wounds. That much more hardier. Solid choices for the mission. Yeah. So as it uh, says in the mission, as the attacker, you get to decide who has the initiative. So would you like to go first or would you like me to go first? As I am Mr. Initiative, I believe I'm gonna allow you to have the initiative mm. this round. Okay. So uh, we're going into the strategic deployment phase. We've got uh, three command points each. Are you gonna use any? I'm not. And you know what? I don't think I'm gonna use any right now either. I think I'm good. Uh, and we move right along to the first turn. I'm gonna start with this, uh, this gentleman right back here.
All right, that's that. What you gonna do so, about it? So I'm gonna have Comms Boy. Ah. He's going to give his first APL over to Sniper Boy. Okay, sounds good. And then he's just gonna move. Just waddle that way a little bit. Yep. Well, I'm gonna take uh, this uh, in here one dash again. Now we're gonna have Sniper Boy ascend. Yep. Checks out, checks out. And then he's going to spend his two remaining APL because yeah. of his generosity of comms boy to unload into this here Space Marine mm. on the far side. Yep, that sounds good. Here we go. Whoosh. Three criticals. I don't like it. Uh, I get three dice uh, for my defense and I get three ups. And I get uh, two of them. Yeah, I take out the two regular hits. So that is gonna be six mortal wounds. Yep. And two damage per, per hit. hit. So, so I 12 take six total mortals. wounds. Woo, all right. Good thing you took that extra wound on yeah, you guy. Yeah, good thing. Uh, so he's got four wounds remaining, which is just fine, but he is working a little bit. You didn't think he could shoot at all, but then he did. This intercessor warrior here in the middle is gonna move just right here behind this rubble pile. Uh, this guy is gonna dash. He's actually just gonna go this way. Again, Dacaboy's, Dacaboy's just going to move over to here. Mm, okay. Uh, so then uh, the next Intercessor Warrior is going to do the same thing and just saddle up right next to his buddy. I'm going to go with Rocket Boy. He's just going to he's just going to run up to the wall here, staying staying hidden. Uh, I'm going to go with the Intercessor Warrior that's right back here, uh, and he is going to jump up onto this vantage point right here. <laughs> it isn't going to help him score points. No, however. Uh, I think I, I feel like I might need a turret of sorts, and I think that he's gonna be, have to be that turret. That is actually true and fair. This orc boy on this side, hide. But he's gonna, yeah, he'll just saddle up and uh, hide on the, in the corner good. there. Uh, I've got my leader, and I think the leader is just going to uh, move right here behind this big piece of cover. This guy's just gonna run up behind his buddy. Another regular orc boy is just gonna run up and uh, reinforce his friends. Uh, Badonkadonk. Yeah. Uh, the boss knob is going to just shimmy up to the corner. Uh, from my vantage point, I am going to shoot at your Daka boy standing yep, out there. Yep, makes sense. Uh, so instead of threes, I'm hitting on fours because it's the Overwatch rule. Yep. In we go. Uh, so one critical and one regular hit. I automatically retain one for my cover. Yep. And I fail the other two. Sounds good. So you get one success, so you take away my success, but you get a critical hit, which is four damage. Okay, takes four damage, puts him down to six. I've got the wounded token on him. Yeah. I will mark him down to six wounds remaining. Sounds good. Orc boy just moves up to take position of the impending movement of these space marines. This guy will back him up. Now I have just the burna boy left. He's gonna dash, and then he's gonna climb up top. One turn down. Boom, look at that, one turn point done. How do you feel? Uh, right now the score sits at zero to zero because I, uh, James has killed none of my operatives and none of my operatives have made it off of his table edge, which I'm hopefully going to, uh, I'm hopefully going to change pretty quick here. So uh, I think things are going to get pretty rough and a tumble next turn, but we'll see how it goes. So we flip on over, boom, 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 boom. Flip on through to flip the other side. Through. You won. Okay. Steve, King Initiative. I get to pick. I'm gonna go first. So I'm gonna use one of my command points. Woo! And I'm gonna use the Tactical Doctrine Strategic Ploy. So the Tactical uh, Doctrine uh, Strategic Ploy allows me, uh, me to reroll one attack dice whenever I make a shooting attack within the red pentagon of uh, any of your models. Super I am lame. also going to spend one command point yeah. on Skulk About. Okay. Move so any of my orcs that have a conceal order yep. may retain one uh, additional save uh, as long as they have a concealed order. Ah, that's pretty good. Uh, Intercessor Warrior, the really wounded one. So I'm moving uh, one circle less, but that's okay. Because I'm going to be able to escape the view of your silly. Of Sniper Boy? Yeah. He is also... Um, going to be uh, concealed. Let's uh, go with Orc Boy near yeah. the corner of the wall. Do it. He is going to declare a charge and away he goes. Um, I'd like to charge him right to the far side of you if possible. Sure. 
Four attacks on threes. Four attacks hitting on threes. Uh, ooh, and you'll be hitting me back on fours. Whoosh. Wounded. Yeah. Okay. Two two hits. No no. Uh, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy here. Nothing crazy. So four attacks, but I'm hitting on fours because I am wounded. Mm -hmm. So uh, from threes down to fours. Whoosh. I get uh, one. So I hit you with uh, the first attack. Four, four damage. damage just kills me. Crump. So my inter uh, intercessor warrior up on the vantage point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going to uh, engage, and uh, he's going to take his auto bolt rifle and he's going to shoot down um, the Daka boy. Daka boy. So uh, on Daka three, boy. three rolling once. Pretty good, Steve. Uh, so three successes and one critical. Okay, so I get to retain two saves. One for cover, yeah. and one for skulk about. Full on. Now if I could just roll a crit on this one, yeah, that would be sweet. I did. You did. Okay, great. One, uh, so one goes through and you take three points of damage. So I'm going to, so you have me for one. Yep. How much damage did you say? Three. Three, I think now is the time we'll play just a scratch. Yep. And ignore the single shot you had going through. Wild stuff, okay, great. However, uh, what I will do uh, is I am going to uh, use its bolter discipline, and I'm going to shoot it again. Okay. So hitting on three, three rolling ones. Uh, so this exact same lineup. So three uh, hits and one critical. So I do three saves, so I take the critical hit. So you take four. Okay. Putting him down to two wounds remaining. We are going to go with comms boy. Okay. And he's going to zip over to the corner here. Okay. And he's going to give his other APL up to Sniper Boy. Okay. And he'll be good. done. So we're going to go up here. This uh, the, the the extra triangle that I get in movement uh, helps me get up here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get to this uh, vantage point, uh, and then I am going to uh, use uh, my bolt gun, uh, and I'm going to shoot at the dash boy here. Okay. So uh, on threes, you're rolling once. So I retain two, and yeah. then roll another one. I block them all. Apologize, Steve. No, what happens? Uh, he's gonna use the boulder discipline because I'm doing the bolt weapon and just yep. do it again. Light him up. Super good. So you just gotta roll a six here to save his Well, or or a regular block. Even a regular five would do it, because two regulars block eight great. Oh that's true, yeah. No. Takes him. That's officially too much work for one DACA boy. Uh, we will go with Sniper Boy. He's going to shoot into uh, this guy down here on the ground. Yep. Your regular intercessor there. He is going to spend Two APL to do the best spot. Yep. So you can shoot. Here we go. So uh, I do have some cover, so I get uh, to automatically retain one. Then I gotta get some six ups, and hopefully I can block this critical. Uh, nope. So I uh, I've only blocked two of them. Uh, I block two, so I take eight. Yeah. Yeah. So he takes eight and is wounded. And then he's just gonna use his other APL just to. Sh uh, Readjust himself a little bit. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. The, this guy here said he doesn't get hit again. Uh, he's going to charge uh, this uh, commando here. He's not wounded. So, in we go. Uh, ooh. So, one crit and one regular. So, I just crank the hit through for four. And then okay. you block nothing. He is dead. He's going to take four, eight, 12 wounds. Yeah, he dies. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the boss knob. Okay. He is going to pass an APL up to Burna Boy. Sounds good. And then he's just going to, so I'm just gonna move him over here next to uh, Rocket Boy. That extra triangle actually gets me pretty far. It was a good choice. Uh, and then he is gonna shoot at this thing. It's gonna be awesome. So on threes, re-rolling ones, uh, four hits. Do still have the conceal order, so I do can do uh, yep. get to retain. And then I roll. Uh, okay. okay, so I block three of them. So you take uh, three points of damage. Uh, and then uh, I will use uh, uh, Bolter Discipline and shoot you again. Okay. I'll use Bolter Discipline and shoot you again. Whoosh. Whoa, there hey, is. there it okay. is. I think I'm in trouble now. Yeah, that's he's true, dead. you can't, he dies. I mean, I'll throw it anyway. No, he oh, dies. he's dead. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, see you, guy. He will uh, dash to the corner. Okay and then climb up. Okay.
Okay, so I'm gonna use my action to climb over the rubble pile, and then I'm going to dash. Uh, so now we go into Overwatch time. Uh, so up here, uh, yep. he is going to Overwatch from here. Hit fours, because it is a uh, Bolter Discipline, from this Intercessor Warrior right down here. Sounds good. Uh, Rerolling okay. ones. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two critical hits. Woo! I retain two. Yeah, hope for this six. You got it. Oh. Orc boy will dash. And then he's going to uh, use his action to climb up over. I am going to uh, take the Overwatch action with this model here. Yep. And we're just going to go right into that same Orc boy. You didn't quite make it across. Yep, makes sense. Four, if you're rolling ones. Hey! Alrighty. So I retain two. I'm regular here. And I roll another six. No, oh, not this time. You block one of the criticals, yep. so you take seven in total. Ooh. So I take seven in total, putting him down to three. Absolutely. This guy is going to move two circles because he has to uh, climb a little bit. Okay. So he's going to move two circles, which will get him to here. Okay. He's going to change his order to a attack order, and he's going to fire a rocket into this intercessor here. Hit all. No. Keep him alive. Do it, Steve. Roll it. We'll block that crit! And I'm gonna go from uh, three command points down to two command points. Um, and what I'm going to do is uh, re roll this roll right here. Yep, makes sense. Here we go. Got it. So you're only taking four damage. Yeah, four whole damage. Which isn't bad at all. I'm okay with that. The one that you just shot, back, shot at is going to shoot back at your Rocket Boy. Makes sense. Rocket Boy, let's do this. Whoosh! Uh, so I've got three hits. Uh, two hits. I do block two, though. Okay, yeah. All righty. So uh, all I've got left is burn -a boy That's it. And his, I mean, he's got an extra action, but I really don't think it helps him right now. He's going to dash towards this edge. Yeah. And then he's going to scale down. And just drop down. Okay. Sounds good. Dun, 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 dun. That's tur two turns down, Steve. Two turns down. And right now you're up, you're up right now four to nothing. So at the end of turn one, I've got two command points, you've got two command points. You've killed two of my operatives, giving, giving you a four points, and I've killed two of yours, giving me nothing because I need to escape off the board edge. So hopefully in the next two turns, I can make that happen with at least one or two of my operatives and even up this score. Let's take a quick break from the game to talk about something that is near and dear to all of our hearts, the hobby. We say it often at Play on Tabletop that this is so much more than a game, and it really is. We use a variety of techniques and tools, all of them available from the Army Painter line. For the Death Watch Intercessors, we use the Army Painter acrylic war paints. Nothing fancy, just a good range of colors, some varied techniques, and a great finish on a really accessible paint line. Something that I really appreciate about the Army Painter paints, which I have been using long before they sponsored this series, Ultramarine Blue on my Ultramarines, take a look at these, and Demonic Yellow on my Imperial Fists, for instance, take a look at those. Something I really appreciate is how they use something called the Color Match System to match their spray paints with the bottled acrylics. The colors are fantastically close, and it has made painting Space Marines a dream. I would encourage all of you to pick up a can and a bottle and give it a whirl. It's made my life easier. Let it make yours easier too. Alrighty, turning point three. Did it receive? Ooh, a oh. one. Yep. Uh, so you get to you get to pick. Do you want me to go first? Do you want to go? I think I'm gonna go first. You gonna go first? You shoot something? Probably. I think. Oh, we each have three command points oh, now, Steve. Snap. Back to three. I'm going to do. One CP to skulk about some more. Yeah. So I'm going to strategic play for the Assault Doctrine. Basically what happens is when I roll a dice for my attacks and for my parries, I get to re-roll one of the results. So I get to go first. Yeah. Ah. So uh, I'm going to start with, yep, you guessed it. Rockets? Rocket Boy. Yeah, I bet. Rocket, Rocket Boy. Boy. Rocket Boy is going to fire into the same Tactical yeah. Marine he that fired totally on last time. He has five dice, hitting on fours. Because he didn't move, he gets to re-roll all his hits. Some rough stuff. Here we go. Hey, okay, looking pretty good so far. Yeah, looking good so far. Okay, Woo. okay. AP one, so you will have one less defense dice. Yeah, so I go from uh, three defense dice down to uh, two defense dice. 
Let's see that. I'm looking for box cars right now to mm -hmm. stop all this damage. These from going uh, these crits are also going to yeah, splash onto exactly. your captain. Uh, I get uh, two successes, so I block the other two, but the crits go through, unfortunately. So I'm going to spend one command point, uh, and I'm going to use Transhuman Physiology, and it's going to take one of my regular saves and it's going to turn it right through. Checks out, makes sense. So yeah. two of these go away. Yep, exactly. So he takes nine damage to your regular uh, intercessor. Uh, this guy, uh, this guy is going to start. Okay. Uh, and he's going to shoot, and he's going to shoot at um, my injured uh, your injured orp boy right there. Uh, so three regular hits. Okay. I retain one. But you're concealed, so you have another one. Uh, right? Oh right, he is concealed. Sorry. Basically, Thank I you. need you to not make this five up. So I rolled another five, another so five I block it all. Uh, so I'm going to use my second APL, Hold and I'm just going to, sorry, second AP, uh, and I'm going to fire into him again. Makes sense. Uh, so now it's one crit and two, sorry, and three regular hits. But I'll roll it anyway for the show. Oh, he takes yes. it on the chin. Okay, so he gets out of there. Uh, and then uh, what I'm going to do, Take a move action. So right into there. Sniper Boy is going to spend both his APL to fire from concealed going to fire into the critically wounded guy. Okay. Yeah, I need to retain one for cover. Uh, and then, oh, I, I, there's no possible way I pass this. It doesn't matter. And then I die. Yeah, so I'm going to spend one command point. So as he dies, I'm going to use Wrath of Vengeance and it lets him shoot okay. uh, on his death. So yep. he's going to go into the rocket boy over Makes there. Makes sense, yep. Over we go. Uh, Rerolling the ones. So you're just looking for crits. No. So eight. I, I block one. I block one crit. Oh, you brought one crit, and I block your one regular hit. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. So I take so one critical four. hit, four damage. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to spend mm -hmm. one command point, right? Just to scratch. Oh. So you do nothing. Sorry. Man, that is so agitating. Yep. <laughs> He's going to charge into your comms, boy. Love it. Right in there. In we go with the fists. Oh baby. My regular orc boy. Uh, no, that's the comms boy. Oh no. I only hit one. Uh, you block one, so mm -hmm. you take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exactly enough to kill him. Woo! Look at him go! I'm gonna have this guy charge into him okay. in retaliation. Okay. If there's nothing else, it speed bumps you and weakens you. That's true. Uh, nice, Steve. Uh, yeah, so because of the Assault Doctrine, I do get to reroll one of these dice, so thankfully. Sweet. <laughs> Another crit, which is kind of nice. So you I hit, hit me for, for four, four I go from 15 to 11. I block one of your hits. Yep. I'm gonna hit you. So you take four. Uh, and then I give you four. Sure. Oh and no, I, you're right, because you kill for, me now. I hit you for four. Yep. And then I hit you for four again. Yeah. And then you finish and, the Yeah, I, I kill you. So, so I, my turn. I declare yep. a charge with this uh, orc boy. Whoa! Oh, dude. All right. Well, let's 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 see. Maybe I can maybe I can stop it. I cannot. It's not gonna happen. You're hitting on fours. Uh, I do get uh, to reroll one because you sure do. Attack. Nope. Sorry, they still don't it. like you one bit. Yeah. So so you take uh, uh, five damage. Yeah, I die. Alrighty. So you have scored two, four, six, eight points. Uh, the maximum amount of points that I can score now is four. Four. We're going into turning point four. We're going into turning point four. There's no way that they can actually make it that way. I went out swinging, but you, did. you know what? Sometimes you go into a matchup where it's just not going to work out. And I also like you my know, dice were. Your hot dice were on the fire. They were on fire. fire. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, to be to just be reflective, like you were right when you said like I should have just overloaded one side and went right. Yeah, you should just right. uh, flank the side and just ran. push through the five orc boys that are on that side, yeah. whatever they be. Yeah, that's what I should have done. But you know what? I and didn't. Gunned and them down on the approach. Yeah, the rest exactly. Of them. Yeah. I should have just done that. But you know what? It happens, and it was a great game, nonetheless. It's always good playing with friends. Let's shake what hands. are we? Hold on. Okay. Okay. Congratulations to our winner and to the victor goes the spoils. A big thank you to all of our players, the Army Painter, and to all of our patrons and YouTube members. You help keep the computers on here at the studio. A giant thank you. And of course, this is Space Marine Steve signing off, saying until we see you again in the far-flung future of this grim, dark universe. Play on. Play on.